Not only is he God, not only is he perfect, not only is he the truth, but he's compassionate. He's loving. He wept. You have a broken heart this morning? Jesus was broken hearted. Jesus wept. Are you poor this morning saying, I don't know how I'm going to make the bills. I don't know how I'm going to pay. Jesus was poor. He grew up in poverty. He grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? You feel rejected today? Some friend, some loved one, some person just turned their back on you and broke your heart. And The Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. He knew what it was to be rejected. Though he was the Lord of the universe. After he spoke one time and the folk were milling around and people were about ready to get in their cars and go home, I guess, or whatever. The little kids were coming up. And the disciples said, hey, hey, you kids get back, he's busy. And Jesus, the Lord of the universe, said, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let the little children come to me. And you can just see him bringing the child up on his knee and hugging him up. The Bible says he blessed them. The Lord of the universe. They traveled down a dusty road, he and his disciples one day, and they came into Jerusalem. And it was the custom of those days because people wore sandals and they walked down dusty roads. It was the custom when somebody came to your house that the lowest, the most menial task uh, was to wash their feet. And so the servant would do that. And, and so here's the 12 disciples and Jesus. And okay, who's going to wash the feet? And everybody's looking at everybody else. And ain't me. You do it. Ain't me. And the Lord of the universe takes the basin and the towel, gets down and washes the feet of his disciples. He could speak with authority because he was divine. Because he was holy. Because he was truth. What a preacher. What a preacher. But you know what? That's not all. He was compassionate. Oh, how I'd like to have been there to sit on the hillside and hear him tell those parables and hear him teach I have a strong feeling that oftentimes when he spoke, if you could look closely, you'd see a tear roll down his face as he told about a man who lost his boy. And the boy came home and the daddy received him. And he was trying to tell him that's the heart of the father. He's a man of love. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his friends. He laid down his life for you. He prayed for his tormentors and his enemies. What a preacher. What a man. This is eternal life that you may know him. Preacher, is it joining the church? I believe that's important, but that's not eternal life. Is it getting baptized? I believe that's a command of God. It's very important. It's an important step of obedience after you become a Christian, but that's not it. It is knowing Jesus Christ. And I want you to know you can know this exciting person. 